All right, y'all. Peace and blessings. God bless y'all. I'm Jarvis Kingston. I hope y'all doing all right and staying solid in these times that run. I pray that you're staying strong. I pray that you're getting, you're doing, I pray that you're getting through your situations better. I pray that things are turn around in your favor. And I pray that your relationship with the Most High is getting better as well. I pray that you reached out to a soul today. I pray that you spread the gospel and spread the word to someone out there. All right. I pray that you know, you have more peace and comfort in your situation. There might be chaos all around you, but I pray that you have that inner peace. All right. Now, today's message, I want to discuss about how spiritual warfare is getting more increased. It is getting more intense. We are in some very crazy, weird, dark times. You feel me? And the enemy is running wild out here. You feel me? The devil Satan, Lucifer, he is running wild. His agents, his they are running wild out here. You feel me? As you can see, we see all this crazy stuff going on in the world, right, from top down, whether it comes from the economy, politics, natural disasters, war, crime rates, food shortage, all these things coming to pass, right? All this prophecy is being unfolded before our eyes. Prophecy is being fulfilled, a lot of events are going down. A lot of unexpected things are just happening left and right. Okay. The news cycles are just sloppy and all over the place to a point where even the news cycles can't even keep up with the prophecy. They can't even keep up with what the Most High is doing out here, right? They're, they're only reporting certain things. They're only giving us certain information to the masses. But if you know, you know, there's a lot of more, much more things going on that the mainstream media is not even talking about. You feel me? There's spiritual warfare is very intense on your mind, on your heart, and on your soul. There's a huge battle with our hearts, minds, and souls. There's a huge battle with us daily that we're going through, right? And also with others as well. We have to remember that we're not going against flesh. We're going against we're not going against flesh and blood. We're going against principalities, man. You feel me? We we are dealing with real entities. We're dealing with real demons and real evil dark spirits and forces. You know, we're dealing with the enemy, we're dealing with fallen angels, we're dealing with witchcraft, we're dealing with all these different things, you feel what I'm saying? And this is why things bother you so much, this is why things throw you off so much. Don't think it's you and you tripping, don't think, oh, it's a mood swing, or you just going through the motions. See, what it is, is that you're more spiritually sensitive, you pick up on things faster, you can't ignore stuff no more, that's why things bother you so much. You see, you you see things clear as day now. You see how evil this world is. You see how wicked people can be. You see how all these people are soulless, man. These people just are empty vessels. These people have no light in them. You know, just the way they 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 talk, the way they treat each other, the way they disrespect each other, the way they do foul stuff. You know, like they do a lot of unhuman stuff. You feel me? That comes from a dark, evil place. This spiritual warfare is everywhere. All right. Things are happening more than ever, okay? Remember, we're the generation that's going to witness Christ's return. So as the time for Christ to return, all these crazy things have to happen before us, okay? You know, it's very hard on our children, man. The, the enemy is after our babies. He's after our children. He's after our little boys and little girls out here. You know what I mean? The enemy is after all of us, bro. You know what I'm saying? I'm not saying this to play victim or what have you. I'm just saying we got remember we got to be vigilant. We got to be watchful, not fearful. Okay, we got to put on that armor of God, and we got to always remember that no weapon formed against us shall prosper. Hallelujah. We have a spiritual protection hedge that guides us. The Most High guides us. Okay, the Holy Spirit is the Comforter. All right, but in this wicked world, man, we are just witnessing a lot of crazy stuff that is like non-human, man. You feel me? Because what it is, is all the things that's going on with the fallen angels and those higher realms, it's starting to manifest physically on this carnal, in this carnal world. You know what I mean? Like all the stuff going on in the heavens and then the cosmos is happening, is trickling down physically on earth right now. You feel what I'm saying? So in a lot of cases, it's, it's hell on earth for certain people. But it's really crazy out here, man. You feel me? And this is why I constantly do this, man, like to encourage y'all about prayer and baptism and a new life because like the the direction this world is going into the direction this country is going to it's not i'm telling y'all we are i'm telling you man this stuff is gonna get real weird and by the day it's gonna get more crazy by the day 
you know, now we shouldn't walk in fear and worry. We should walk in faith and courage and strength and be ready for whatever. Be prepared for anything. Be ready to adapt to any situation. Be, you know, prepare, you know, like prepare for the unpredictable. Control the uncontrollable. You know, we have to go through these things as it is. You feel me? And it's exhausting. This spiritual warfare is exhausting. Okay, that's why the, the, the Bible tells us to not be weary in doing good because we will reap a good reward in due time. You feel me? But it is exhausting. It is tiring. You know what I mean? It is just, man, you know, <laughs> this is why we got to keep being renewed and keep that fresh anointing. We got to stay on point because it's just a lot going on inside out. You feel me? And like I said, this spiritual warfare is increasing like never before. Um, and we have to really reach out to more people. We have to save more souls. We have to spread the gospel and the word of God. We got to uh, preach good tidings to people, man, because a lot of people need it. OK, a lot of people are going down dark paths. A lot of people are going down paths that they might not ever turn back from. You get what I'm saying? We got blood on our hands, spirits. We got people lives in our hands. man. We got to reach out to people and preach the word and save these souls, man. And win these souls over to the kingdom of heaven, because. This world is just devouring people. It's just devouring the poor. It's taking over the children. It's just, you know, this world is just spiraling downhill, man. And it's on us to stay upright and stand firm and be be courageous and be bold for the Lord. Okay. We need to be mighty men and mighty women of the Lord. All right. So we need to get stronger spiritually. We need to stay on point, man. We got to be more... Uh, we got to be more solution oriented from now on. You feel me? So what I want to do is read some scriptures that deals with spiritual warfare, how to go about it and just go from there. All right. The book of Ephesians, chapter six, verse 12. For our struggle is not against flesh and blood, but against the rulers and the powers and the principalities of the air, the forces of darkness and high places against the spiritual forces and wickedness in high places and heavenly places. The book of 2 Corinthians chapter 10, verse 4. For the weapons of our, warf of our warfare are not carnal, but divinely powerful for the destruction of fortresses. Our weapons are spiritual, not carnal. But in certain situations, scenarios, we will have to give physical and carnal, okay? The book of Ephesians chapter 6, verse 17. And take the helmet of salvation and the sword of the spirit, which is the word of God. The book of first Timothy chapter one, verse 18, this command I entrust to you, Timothy, my son, in accordance with the prophecies previously made concerning you, that by them you fight the good fight. The book of Psalm 18, verse 34, the book of Psalm 18, verse 34, oh, my bad, y'all, I'm kind of, <laughs> okay. The book of Psalm 18, verse 34, he trains my hands for battle so that my arms can bend a bow of bronze, bend a bow of bronze. The book of 2 Corinthians chapter 10, verse 3. For though we walk in the flesh, we do not war according to the flesh. The book of Ephesians chapter 6, verse 18. With all prayer and petition, pray at all times in the spirit. And with this in view, be on the alert with all perseverance and petition for all the saints. The book of 2 Corinthians chapter 10, verse 2. I ask that when I am present, I need not be I need not to be bold with the confidence with which I propose to be courageous against them who regard us as if we'd walk according to the flesh. The book of Galatians, chapter five, verse 17, for the flesh sets its desire against the spirit and the spirit against the flesh. For these are in opposition to one another so that you may not do the things that you please. The book of Ephesians, chapter six, verse 15, and having short, having with your feet with the preparation of of the gospel of peace. The book of Ephesians chapter six, verse 11, put on the full armor of God so that you will be able to stand firm against the schemes of the devil. The book of Proverbs chapter 24, verse five, a wise man is strong, a man and a man of knowledge increases power. The book of Proverbs chapter 24, verse 10, if you are slack in a day of distress, your strength is limited. The book of Ephesians, chapter 6, verse 10. Finally, be strong in the Lord and in the strength of his might. The book of Psalm 20, verse 9. Save, O Lord. May the king answer us in the day that we call. The book of Proverbs, chapter 21, verse 31. The horse is prepared for the day of the battle, but victory belongs to the Lord. Hallelujah. Victory belongs to the Lord, y'all. 
We're going to always prevail. We're going to always win because the most highest with us. Hallelujah. The book of Ephesians chapter 6, verse 13. Therefore, take up the full armor of God so that you will be able to resist in the evil day and having done everything to stand firm. The book of Psalm 20, verse 1. For the choir director, a psalm of David. May the Lord answer you in the day of trouble. May the name of the God of Jacob set you securely on high. The book of Jeremiah, chapter 51, verse 20. He says, you are my war club, my weapon of war. And with you, I shatter nations. And with you, I destroy kingdoms. The book of Proverbs, chapter 21, verse 30. There is no wisdom and no understanding and no counsel against the Lord. The book of Proverbs, chapter 20, verse 12. The hearing ear and the seeing eye, the Lord has made both of them. The book of 1 Corinthians, chapter 14, verse 8. For if the bulge produces an indistinct sound, who will prepare himself for battle? The book of Psalm 20, verse 7, some boast in chariots and some in horses, but we will boast in the name of the Lord, our God. The book of Ephesians, chapter 6, verse 16, in addition to all taking up the shield of faith, which you will be able to extinguish all the flaming arrows of the evil one. The book of 2 Corinthians, chapter 10, verse 6, and we are ready to punish all disobedience whenever your obedience is complete. The book of Psalm 20, verse 3, May he remember all your meal offerings and find your burnt offering acceptable. Selah. Selah. The book of Joshua, chapter 6, verse 7. Then he said to the people, go forward and march around the city and let the armed men go on before the ark of the Lord. The book of Joshua, chapter 6, verse 10. But Joshua commanded the people, saying, you shall not shout, nor let your voice be heard, nor let a word proceed out of your mouth until the day I tell you. Shout, then you shall shout. The book of Zechariah, chapter 10, verse 5, they will be as mighty men, treading down the enemy in the, in the mire of the streets in battle, and they will fight for the Lord will be with them, and the riders on horses will be put to shame. The book of Ephesians, chapter 6, verse 14, stand firm, therefore, having girded your loins with truth and having put on the breastplate of righteousness. The book of Daniel, chapter 10, verse 13, but this prince of, but the prince of the kingdom of Persia was withstanding me for 21 days then behold michael one of the chief princes came to help me for i had been left there with the kings of persia the book of second samuel chapter 10 verse 9 now when joab saw that the battle was set against him in front and in the rear he selected from all the choice of men of israel and arrayed them against the Ar the arameans the book of luke chapter 14 verse 31 or what king, when he sets out to meet another king in battle, will not first sit down and consider whether he is strong enough with 10,000 men to encounter the one coming against him with 20,000? The book of Second Corinthians chapter 10, verse 5. We are destroying speculations and every lofty thing raised up against the knowledge of God, and we are taking every thought captive to the obedience of Christ. The book of Proverbs chapter 21, verse 13. He who shuts his ear to the cry of the poor will also cry himself and not be answered. Hey, Spiritual warfare, it demands a lot of entire consecration, okay? The book of Second Timothy, chapter 2, verse 4. No soldier in active service entangles himself in the affairs of everyday life so that he may please the one who enlisted him as a soldier. Hey, stay on point, soldiers of Christ, stay on point. Let's not get entangled with all this mess. Stay on point. The most high point of us as soldiers, we got to stay on point. We got to stay strong and firm. The book of Hebrews, chapter 10, verse 32. But remember the former days when after being enlightened, you endured a great conflict of sufferings. The book of Revelation, chapter 12, verse 17. So the dragon was enraged with the woman and went off to make war with the rest of her children who keep the commandments of God and who hold the testimony of Jesus. All right. The book of Second Corinthians, chapter 10, verse four, for the weapons of our warfare are not of the flesh, but divinely powerful for the destruction of fortresses. The book of first Timothy, chapter one, verse 18, this command I entrust to you, Timothy, my son, in accordance with the prophecies pre previously made concerning you that by them you fight the good fight. All right. The book of first Timothy, chapter six, verse 12, fight the good fight of faith. Take hold of the eternal life to which you were called, and you made the good confession in, a pre in the presence of many witnesses. Okay. The book of Ephesians, chapter 6, verse 12. For our struggle is not against flesh and blood, but against the rulers, against the powers, against the world, the forces of this darkness, against spiritual forces of wickedness in the heavenly places. 
The book of Romans chapter 7 verse 23, but I see a different law in the members of my body, waging war against the law of my mind and making me a prisoner of the law of sin, which is my, which is in my members. Okay. The book of Psalm 28 verse 7 through 8, the Lord is my strength and my shield. My heart trusts in him and I am helped. Therefore, my heart exalts, and with my song, I shall thank him. All right. The book of Second Peter, chapter 2, verse 4. For if God did not spare angels when they sinned, but cast them into hell and committed them to pits of darkness reserved for judgment. The book of James, chapter 4, verse 4. You adulteresses, do you not know that friendship with the world, friendship with the world is hostility towards God? Therefore, whoever wishes to be a friend of the world makes himself an enemy of God. Whew. Y'all love this system so much. Y'all love this captivity so much. Y'all love this corporate stuff so much. Anybody who's a friend of the world is an enemy towards the most high. We got to love the world. We, we, we got to love the Lord, not the world. All right. We got to love the most high and not this world. This world and this system has taught us to love things of it. But nothing out here is fulfilling out here. Okay. Things are very temporary and flimsy. The most high is eternal. He's forever. That's why we love him, because he is forever. He's eternal. He's everlasting. All right. This world, this system's going to run its course. This whole thing has to go down. You feel me? So remember that. Keep on that armor of God. Stay strong in that battlefield. Have that courage and strength. You feel me? Have that guidance and strength. Overcome those hard times. Overcome those obstacles. Okay. Always be ready for any type of war out here. You feel me? Got to be ready for that war spiritually. Always resolve a conflict, all right? Attend to those social duties, man. All right? Our weapons are spiritual. That anointing, that prayer, that protection hedge. Mm-hmm. Spiritual warfare. Yes, yes. All right? We got to remember that. All right? This 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 battle that we're in is it's getting more intense by the day, okay? So... Let's just remember that every, as we live our lives every day, okay? Now, as we close, I just want to remind you, I just want to remind you how great the Most High and His Son is, okay? Hallelujah! He is the Adam, the Advocate, the Almighty, the Alpha and Omega, the Amen, the Apostle of our profession, the Arm of the Lord, the Atonement Sacrifice for our sins, the Author and Finisher of our faith, the Author of life, the Author of salvation, the Beginning and the End. The beginning of creation of God, the beloved Son, the blessed and only potent, the blessed and only ruler, the branch, the bread of God, the bread of life, the bridegroom, the capstone, the captain of salvation, the chief cornerstone. Hallelujah, the chief shepherd, the Christ, Christ of God, the consolation of Israel, the cornerstone, the counselor, the creator, the day spring, the deliverer, the desire of the nations, the door, the elect of God, Emmanuel, the eternal life, the everlasting father, the faith and true witness, faithful and true, the faithful witness, the first and the last, the first begotten, the firstborn from the dead, firstborn over all creation, the forerunner, the gate, the glory of the Lord, God, the good shepherd, the great high priest, the great shepherd, the head of the church, the hearer of all things, the high priest, holy and true, the holy one, the hope, the hope of glory, the horn of salvation, the I am, the image of God, Jehovah, Jesus of Nazareth, Jesus, the judge of Israel, the judge, king eternal, king of Israel, king of kings and lord of lords, king of saints, king of the ages, king of the Jews, the king, the lamb, the lamb of God, the lamb without blemish, the last Adam, the lawgiver, the leader and the commander, the life, the light of the world, the lion of the tribe of Judah, the living one, the living stone, the Lord, Lord Yah, Yahuwah Yahweh, Yahweh Shai, Yahweh Ben Yahweh, Ahaya Yeshaya, Yeshua, Barakatha, Shalom, our righteousness, Lord of all, Lord of glory, Lord of lords, man from heaven, man of sorrows, mediator of the new covenant, the mediator, the messenger of the covenant, the Messiah, the mighty God, the mighty one, the morning star, the Nazarene, the offspring of David, the only begotten son of God, our great God and savior, our holiness, our spiritual husband, our Passover, our protection, our redemption, our righteousness, our sacrificed Passover lamb, Power of God, the precious cornerstone, the prince of kings, the prince of life, the prince of peace, the prophet, the redeemer, the resurrection and life, the righteous branch, the righteous one, the rock, the root of David, the rose of Sharon, the ruler of God's creation, the ruler of the kings of the earth, the savior, the seed of woman. 
the shepherd and bishop of souls, the Shiloh, the son of David, the son of God, the son of man, the, the, the son of the blessed, the son of the most high God, the source of eternal salvation for all who obey him, the son of righteousness, the just one, the one mediator, the stone the builders rejected, the true bread, the true God, the true light, the true vine, the truth, the way, the way, the truth and life, the wisdom of God, the witness, the wonderful counselor, the word, the word of God, the word of life, the word. Hallelujah. Amen. We serve an awesome creator and his son is amazing for dying for our sins. How wonderful it is. The blood still works. The blood is powerful. All right. Come on now. Let's praise the Lord up in here. The spiritual warfare getting intense, y'all. Got to keep on that arm of the most high. We Got to keep on that arm of God. Yes. We got to stay strong out here. We got to stay super prayed up. Where the prayer warriors at? Where the mighty men and mighty women at of the Lord at? Where y'all at? Men of valor, women of valor, where y'all at? Men of Zion, where y'all at? Daughters of Zion, where y'all at? Sons of Zion, where y'all at? Come on. We a royal priesthood. We lie to the world. Where we at? Come on, y'all. Roll call. Come on, y'all. This spiritual warfare is getting intense. We going to prevail. We going to overcome. We going to win. Trust. It look a little crazy now, but it's going to make sense later. Believe it. I'm telling y'all right now, let's let's keep let's keep at it, okay? Let's keep fighting the good fight. All right, let's not get weary. I know it's I know it's a little overwhelming, it's exhausting, but let's not get weary, okay? Come on, y'all. I want them white robes at the end. I want that crown at the end. No more tears, no more sorrow. That's that everlasting life, the tree of life. Come on, that everlasting paradise. We gotta we gotta go through a lot for that. We gonna we gotta go through that tribulation. We gotta go through that. That that you know what I'm saying? We gotta go through that. Those uh huh. They gonna har- they gonna harass the most high people more and more. Yep, they gonna persecute us more and more. Mm hmm. Yep, they gonna go at us hard for the gospel. Mm hmm. They gonna go at us hard for everything. Mm hmm. They going hard on us everywhere, <laughs> on the internet, off the internet. Oof, I'm telling you, they I'm telling you, the enemy's agents. They everywhere. These ops. They everywhere. So let's stay strong in the Lord, all right? I pray to God that whoever listens to this message, I pray that you get baptized, you start your life full for the Lord. I pray that you keep the kingdom of heaven first and all things should be added to you. I pray that you keep improving your life. I pray that you get more strong in this battlefield. I pray that you overcome your battles. I pray that you get out of your own way. Hallelujah. I pray that you keep on that arm of God 24-7. Not just when you wake up. Even when you sleep, you still got it on you, Okay. Because the enemy like to attack people while they're sleeping with the sleep per- perilous, per- the sleep paralysis and those crazy dreams and nightmares. The enemy like to attack while you're sleeping. You got the armor of God even when you're sleeping. You still got a protection hedge over you. You're still anointed. You're still blessed. You're still strong. Hallelujah. The Lord, the Lord, the Lord got us. Come on. The name of the Lord is a tower and the righteous run to it and we are safe. Come on, y'all. I'm Jarvis Kingston. I got much love for y'all. Y'all stay strong in this battlefield. Peace.